Hello everyone and welcome to another collection showcase and what is for now, uh, only for now hopefully, going to be the last in my barrage of prototype uh, figure or prototype um, toys, parts, videos. Um, as I said in my Master 375 Dalek and 10th Doctor prototype video, um, I've had a bit of a lucky streak recently um, with prototypes um, and this is the last ones that I've managed to collect um, recently and obviously these are two third Doctor prototypes. Now just before I get on to the figures, I would just like to say a huge shout out to uh, Jack Coughlin. I think I'm saying that right, I apologise if I'm not, um, but big, big shout out to Jack. Um, normally I'm very good at keeping up to date and uh, doing my searches for uh, prototypes. I do daily searches to try and find them. A lot of people often ask me how do I find them, just search for them. Um, but these are ones that I did actually miss myself. Um, they were on eBay. I don't know if any are still available. Uh, again, you'll have to search for yourself. Um, but uh, I actually missed these. Uh, if he hadn't pointed them out, I wouldn't have known about them. So huge, huge shout out to Jack. Thank you very much uh, for letting me know about these. Uh, it's fantastic to have them in my collection. So obviously, yes, these are two Third Doctor prototype figures. And these, I believe, uh, from what I have found out and what from other people have told me are prototype versions of the Invasion of the Dinosaurs set that came with the Master, or at least the Invasion of the Dinosaurs Doctor, that came as part of a B&M set with the Delgado Master and a Joe Grant figure. Obviously it wasn't an Invasion of the Dinosaurs set, but it was a Doctor done in the Invasion of the Dinosaurs style. Um, now obviously what makes this stand out as an Invasion of the Dinosaurs set is the blue uh, sculpt of the jacket. Um, Obviously, a lot of the time they use very random colours to try and, uh, when they make prototype figures, when they are testing the mould, they use random figures. But generally, when they are making the figure as it would be released before it's going to be painted, they tend to use colours that are close to the colours of the finished figure, which is why, obviously, you've got a skin tone head, you've got a blue jacket, and you've got a dark trousers, and also... Um, I don't know how easy it's going to come up on camera, but the shirt is also a dark plastic colour. Um, so yeah, overall, they don't really, oh, I was going to say, they don't seem that special, but they just, you know, third Doctor prototypes, there doesn't seem to be anything sort of really that uh, majorly stands out about them at first glance. But what really interested me is that they come, both of them, I'll take one of them out to start with, um, they come with a sonic screwdriver accessory now obviously that doesn't sound that uh that strange you know the doctor comes with a sonic screwdriver accessory but i asked on twitter because i don't have the um the set in which the actual release versions of the figure comes in and i asked and i said does this figure come with a sonic screwdriver accessory and the answer it seems is no which is interesting that they have made these prototype versions with a sonic screwdriver. Now, looking at this logically, the sonic screwdriver is made of the same tone colored plastic as the head and uh, as the head and hands, which makes me believe that when they mold the plastics, the sonic screwdriver is part of the same mold as the head and the hands. That's that's not that huge of a leap to assume that um, because that's often how they would they would do it. They would have several different pieces on the same sprue. But it's interesting that it means that when they made these figures, when they've made these, these prototype ones, but they've also made the actual versions, it's most likely that they moulded sonic screwdrivers, which were then not released with the figures. So it means that they probably got thrown away, or maybe somebody collected them all up and they're going to appear on eBay one day. But it's interesting that it means that they would have moulded sonic screwdrivers but then not release them with the figure. And I find that very interesting that that it's that it's odd that they never got released if they were molded. Um, because you would think that, obviously, yes, they've got to be painted and that takes a lot of time as well, but you would think if they've molded them, they would release them with the figure, you know, and it's just, it's an added, it's an added accessory, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe the license of the B&M sets is that they don't come with um, that they don't come with accessories. Um, as far as I'm aware, they don't come with accessories. But there might be an annotation at the bottom explaining that I was wrong at this point. Um, 
But yeah, it's interesting that we got the two sonic screwdrivers with these prototype ones and I and I believe um, as I said I don't know if these are still on eBay but I've actually ordered these from two different sellers so there are different people on eBay uh, selling them so it's interesting that they're two different sellers but they've both got the sonic screwdrivers with them so obviously somehow these have got out onto the market um, but yeah it's interesting that these prototype versions come with sonic screwdrivers but the final release version doesn't that's it's certainly a little nice little bit of a mystery uh, to have with these, but they are they're fantastic. Um, they're fantastic looking pieces um, It's actually I have to say I've seen I've seen prototypes of the uh, of the fifth doctor of the uh, ninth tenth and uh, Generally it seems that a lot of prototypes have sprung up of the other doctors, but although he's had a lot of variants This is the first time I've seen a third doctor prototype um, You know the fourth doctor's got a lot of variants. So I've seen some of him uh, first and Second Doctors generally don't have that many variants, uh, nor does the Fifth Doctor, apart from... The Fifth Doctor is usually just a change of paint application. Again, the Seventh Doctor I have seen, Eighth Doctor I've seen, War Doctor I've got one, uh, Ninth, Tenth, Eleventh and Twelfth Doctors. Again, there's not a huge amount of variation, but some do exist. But it's the first... This is the first Third Doctor um, I have actually seen as a prototype, and it's... For that reason, it's nice to have it in my collection because I don't have, with the exception of the recent edition of my Ainley Master, I don't have any classic figure prototypes. So it's fantastic to have these as part of my collection. Um, as I said, there might still be some on eBay, but you would need to search for them. Um, I will just address that quickly uh, if I haven't already in this video. Whoops. <laughs> this is the other thing, the problem with prototypes is they are a bit unstable on the legs. Um, yeah, just to quickly address this, um, because a lot of people have been asking with these um, prototype videos, is a lot of people say, where do I get my prototypes? Um, and, uh, you know, I, you know, people say, oh, I'd love one. How do you get them? Where do I get them? What do I search? Um, basically, as and it's the same rule with customs, really. There is no single resource place to buy parts or buy spare parts or buy prototypes and things like that. As much as people wish there were, um, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be very blunt now, um, and I apologise if this offends anybody. But this is honestly, this is this is the way that I see it, and it's it's my experience of this matter. Is when people say, "Where do I get? Where do I get? For example, where do you get the classic Tardises? Where do you get the prototype figures? Where is the best place to buy spare parts?" The answer that people want is they want me to turn around and say, "Oh yes, if you go to this website and you can have, you can buy anything you want on there." I'm sorry. I, and I'm really sorry because I know that it's the answer people want me to give. The, it's the answer people want me to give, but it doesn't work like that. It, I'm sorry, but there's just there is no single resource that is a good place to buy things. You know, I uh, for example, the Ninth Doctor prototype I've got, or actually a better example, the Anthony Ainley prototype, and also the Fourth Doctor Tardis. I have literally, literally and I mean quite literally, spent almost daily searching for at least an hour for years. And I'm not making up, I've literally got alerts on my eBay, on my emails, anything. I have daily alerts that I go through. It is part of my daily routine to spend an hour searching for these things. And for example, as I said, the Ainley prototype and the fourth Dr. TARDIS, um, I've had, obviously, I've only just found the Ainley prototype, um, so that's probably the, the best example. I have been looking for one of those since, um, I think since I first read about it, maybe four years ago that I knew the prototype existed. And so I have daily, and I mean quite literally daily, with the exception of times when I didn't have access to the internet or when I was really ill, I have daily spent searching for those. So the bottom line, if you want to find things like this, or you want to find parts for prototypes, don't expect other people to tell you where to find them. If you want them, if you are really determined to have them, you have got to put the work in. And I'm just gonna say as well, because I know I've got two of these here, and if I didn't mention it, I know somebody else would say it, Neith somebody would ask, sorry, neither of these are for sale. I'm keeping these as my collection, so 
when I on a lot of my prototype videos, some of my prototype videos, and I think the very um, one of the first ones I uh, the first one I did showing my prototype Temp Doctor Sonic screwdriver, I literally had somebody commenting that saying, "Give me the Sonic screwdriver." There was no literally give. There was no please or thank you or anything. I mentioned this before, but that is a prime example of people who just think that that they can get it however they want. You don't. I've spent years searching for these things, and now I finally have them. And and. You know, for example, with these, I've got people helping me out. And again, huge, huge praise and thanks to Jack for helping me find these. But just generally, you know, I have i didn't know these existed. But if I did, I could have spent years searching for them. Like, like I spent years searching for the only prototype. You know, it, it's fine. It's, it's, there's no problems asking people for help and saying to people, you know, oh, do you know where I could find this? Do you know where I could find that? That's fine. But when they turn around and don't give you the answer that you want, don't take it. Don't take it personally, or don't take it out on them. Because, as I said, I'm sorry to put it so bluntly, but the bottom line is the answer that people want, contrary to what people hope, there is no single best place to buy things. If you want them, you've got to look for them. You've got to search for them. You've got to put the work in. Maybe you'll be lucky, and somebody like uh, Jack. Huge thanks again. Every time I mention this video, I'm going to say huge thanks because I do mean it. Huge thanks to him that he pointed these out to me. You know, that's it's incredibly lucky that that has happened for me. But other times, you know, I've really had to search for things, and you've really got to search for them. Um, and I am now going to stop there because I keep rambling and I'm basically repeating myself. But the point still, <laughs> the point still stands in that. Um, I just wanted to say that because a lot of people over these prototype videos have been asking me, have been saying, where do you get these things? And to be fair, it's it's not just the prototype ones, it's my collection showcase as well, like the, the TARDIS models, you know, my TARDIS collection showcase. A lot of people turn around and say, where do you get these? Where can I buy them? How, do, how did you get hold of them? You've just got to search for them. There's no, there is no magic answer. There is no special place where you can just go and buy them cheaply and if you do find them that's the other point if you do find them they're not always going to be cheap you've got to you've got to be willing to pay out for them you know I, i'm sorry but it is it is it is the simple um truth but uh, i have rambled on enough about that um i just wanted to get that said and out of the way um but yes that is my third doctor invasion of the dinosaurs prototypes a once again huge huge thank thank you to uh, Jack Coglin again I hope I'm saying that right but a huge shout out to him uh, to uh, for finding these for me um, it really means a lot and I'm uh, I really can't thank him enough for um, for uh, finding these uh, letting me know about these because if I if I hadn't if I hadn't known about them I wouldn't have them now um, so yeah huge huge shout out and thank you to Jack as always I hope you enjoyed this video like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. There is an exclusive webcomic and rewards for people who support it. And the funding generated by my Patreon helps me fund future videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.